Let's go and consider a few equations and we'll try to solve them. Okay, the first one is x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. It seems that this equation can be factorized. So we will have x plus 1 times x minus 5 equals 0. So x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 5 equals 0. Then we will have x equals minus 1 or x equals minus 5. These two values are exact values. The second equation we are going to consider is x cubed minus 8 equals 0. So x cubed equals 8 and x cubed. x is cube root of 8, that is 2. This is also an exact value. Let's go and consider the third one. So this equation x cubed minus e power x equals 0. We have x cubed equals e power x. The solution for this equation that we cannot find the exact root of, of the equation above. So in this subtopic, we are going to discuss numerical methods to find the approximate numerical solutions of such equations. Many equations cannot be solved exactly, but various methods of finding approximate numerical solutions exist. The most commonly used methods have two main parts. The first one is finding an initial approximate value, and the second one is improving this value by an iterative process. Initial values. The initial value of the roots of fx equals zero can be located approximately by either a graphical or an algebraic method. Now we go to graphical method. Either a plot or sketch the graph of fx. For instance, we have this curve for the fx. So, the real root is the point where the curve cuts the x-axis. For this example, the root is alpha. Or, we can rewrite fx equals 0 in the form of fx equals gx. Plot or sketch y equals fx and y equals gx. In this case, the function fx equals 0 is split into two kinds of function, that is fx and also gx. For example, we have two, two curves of fx and gx. So the real root is at the point where this graph intersect. For this example, the root is alpha. Example 1. Find the root of the equation y equals x cubed by using graphical method. Now, let's go and sketch the graph of y equals x cubed. <coughs> and we have the y axis, x axis, and the curve y equals x cubed. So, where is the root? The root for this x cube is where it is cutting the x axis. Okay, it is here. Thus, the root is 0. Example 2. Find the approximate value of the equation ln x plus x minus 4 equals 0 by using the graphical method. Solution. For ln x plus x minus 4 equals 0, then we have ln x equals 4 minus x. So now, the equation just now is already turned into two kinds of function. And now we can let y equals ln x and y equals 4 minus x. Then we go to sketch these two graphs. So we'll have here the y exists, the x exists. And then we mark 
on the x axis and also on the y axis and this is the curve of ln x then this is the graph of 4 minus x so where is the approximate value of the equation ln x plus x minus 4 equals 0 so it's supposed to be on the intersection of these two curves okay so we have here the intersection is at x is approximately equals 2.5 algebraic method algebraic method is another way to find an initial value for an equation that cannot be solved exactly so we will have to find two values of a and b such that fa and fb have different signs so at least one root must lies between a and b if fx is continuous let's consider the curve okay so we have this the curve like this and a and b on the x axis and then we have fa positive because it is above x axis and we have fb is negative because it is below x axis so there should be a value where the curve cuts the x axis to become a root of the function and another way we can consider this curve we have a and b so we have the curve and then now fb and fa this fa is negative because it is below x axis and fb is positive because it is above x axis and there should be a point where this curve cuts the x axis to become a root of the equation so we have here x naught as the root for this curve example one show that the root of the equation ln x plus x minus 2 equals 0 lies in the interval of 1 2 solution if we have the equation is already equals 0 then we can let fx as ln x plus x minus 2 then we will input these two values into the function for f1 equals ln 1 plus 1 minus 2 equals minus 1 this is negative and then f2 equals ln 2 plus 2 minus 2 equals 0 0.69 which is positive since f1 and f2 have different signs thus there is a root in the interval of 1 2 example 2 determine whether the root of the equation 2x minus e power minus x lies between x equals 0 and x equals 1 solution let's consider fx as 2x minus e power minus x f0 is 2 times 0 minus e power 0 is minus 1 this is negative f1 is equal to 2 times 1 minus e power minus 1 equals 1.6 which is positive since f0 and f1 have different signs thus there is a root between x equals 0 and x x equals 1. Newton Rapson method. If x1 is an approximation to root alpha of fx equals 0, then a better approximation x2 is given by x2 equals x1 minus fx1 over f prime x1. We shall repeat this process as required. And we have a general formula xn plus 1 equals xn minus f xn over f prime xn. This method fails if f prime alpha 
is near to zero and f prime alpha is very large example one using the newton Repson method find the solution of fx equals x plus e power x near x equals minus 0 0.5 to 4 decimal places okay i want you to observe x equals minus 0 0.5 and we have the word near so this is actually the initial value or the first approximation it is stated in the question very clear here so now we have to use this value to find a better approximation value of the root of this fx using this newton Clapson method okay okay let's do it so let fx as x plus e power x and we have to differentiate fx equals 1 plus e power x and we have a general formula for the newton Lesson method that is xn plus 1 equals xn minus fxn over f prime x and then we use this formula okay and input into the general formula here so we have xn plus 1 equals xn minus xn plus e power xn over 1 plus e power xn okay and then uh, we start with this uh, initial value or the first approximation so x naught as minus 0 0.5 and then we use this to find the x1 when input into this formula okay so we have minus 0 0.5 minus minus 0 0.5 plus e power minus 0 0.5 over 1 plus e power minus 0 0.5 and we calculate this we will have minus 0 0.56631 and we have to use this value to find the next x2 so you can see just input into the formula okay and then we have the value is minus 0 0.56714 and we repeat the same process okay in order to get the x3 so we have minus 0 0.56714 so whenever we uh, change the value just now for the x2 we'll say x3 into four decimal places so we have here for the x2 is minus 0 0.5671 and the x3 also changed to uh, four decimal places we have minus uh, 0 0.5671 so once the value these two value are the same value when it is changed into the four decimal places so we can stop and conclude the answer so the required solution is x equals minus 0 0.5671 is the four decimal places all right so you, as you can see this is the first approximation is minus 0 0.5 then a beta one so you can see this is uh, minus 0 0.5671 okay which is more accurate but then this is still uh, approximately equal okay to the root of the fx equals x plus e power x example two show that the equation 2 sine x minus x equals 0 has a root between x equals 1 radian and x equals 2 radian find the root of the equation by using newton Repson method giving your answer correct to two decimal places solution Okay, now we input this value x equals 1 and 2 into the function. Okay, so, so we, we have now f1 as 2 sine 1 minus 1 equals 0 0.6829. Okay, this is positive value. Then f2 equals 2 sine 2 minus 2 equals minus 0 0.1814. Okay, this is negative value. So we have positive and negative values. So different sign. So... Uh, 2 sine x minus x equals 0 has a root between x equals 1 and x equals 2. For the function fx equals 2 sine x minus x, we have to go to differentiate it. So we have 2 cos x minus 1. Okay, and then now for the first approximation value or x naught, okay, you uh, can take any value from 
one and two okay from one until two any value any value you can take for the first approximation okay for this example i'm taking first approximation x dot s two and then i'm going to put this value two into the formula so this is the general formula xn plus 1 equals xn minus fxn over f prime xn then of course i've got to substitute this fxn okay and also f prime xn from this function and also this function so i will have this okay and you can input this formula into your calculator okay uh, and your all your calculation must be done using the calculator it is advisable for you not to uh, calculate the value of x okay for x1 x2 x3 and so on manually okay you just put all this value okay for instance we have two for the first approximation and we put into x1 okay and then we have two minus two sine two minus 2 over 2 cos 2 minus 1 equals 1.9 okay this is done by your calculator okay you don't have to go to calculate this manually and get the answer and the next one that is for the x2 okay we have to use this formula uh, this value i mean okay this value of x1 and input into the formula of x2 we just write this down Okay, and the calculation is done by your calculator. So we have the value 1.896. Okay, the, uh, this one we have done once. Okay, this is the second one. And we go to the third one. This one also have got to, to be, uh, we have to use this value 1.896 into x3. Okay, just copy down all this value. And then uh, we calculate. Okay, use your calculator. And then 1.895, we have the value. Alright, and for the x4, okay, for the x4 here, you didn't have to write this down anymore because we have done three times already and then just get the answer from your calculator. So 1.895. And then uh, we can go to compare with the before value and we can conclude the answer. Alright, so the required solution is 1.90. Uh, correct to two decimal places. Example 3. Use the Newton Repson method to estimate cube root of 21 correct to four decimal places. Okay, solution. Let x as cube root 21. Then we we'll have x cube equals 21. So x cube minus 21 equals 0. Once we have uh, equated this expression into uh, equate to 0, then we can have fx equals x cube minus 21. And we have to differentiate this f so it will become 3x square. If we go through the question, there is no statement about where this cube root of 21 lies, in, uh, I mean, in what values. Okay, so we have to determine ourselves. So now, we will have here, okay, so a cube root of uh, 8 is 2, and cube root of 27 equals 3. And now we have x equals cube root of 21 is in between this value okay 2 and 3 so root of q root 21 lies in between 2 and 3 because of f2 equals minus 13 and f3 is positive 6 so we have here a different sign okay this will confirm that the root of q root Three, uh, 21 lies in between 2 and 3. So now we can let x note or the first ep, uh, approximation goes to okay you can take any value from 2 until 3 and uh, this is the formula 
for uh, Q root 21, okay, using Newton Ripsey method. So we have xn plus 1 equals xn minus, okay, minus the function. The function is x cubed minus 21. So if x cubed n, xn cubed minus 21 over 3xn square. So we are going to use this formula in order to get the next value of x. Okay, we have x1 as uh, we substitute the value of this x node into this formula to get the x1. Okay, and then uh, we have 3 points. Uh, 0, 0.083333 okay then after this we calculate using the calculator we have 2.791859 and x3 equals 2.759311 x4 is 2.758924 okay and then we go to uh, compare this value do we have already same value four decimal places so here we will have 2 point for the x3, 2.7593. And here we have 2.7589. So still have a change in value. And then we have to proceed with the x5. And then by the time we come to this x5, you can see that we have same value already for the x1 and the x5. Uh, correct to four decimal places. And then after that, the last two value agree. Okay and correct to four decimal places. So therefore, uh, square root of 21 is uh, 2.7589. Okay, um, whenever you are doing like this, okay, that is uh, without written down the formula for the x2, x, uh, x2, x3, and also x4. So, we can have here, do not leave. Okay, do not leave your answer like this even though the calculation is correct but we cannot leave our answer like this instead you have to put the values into the formula for each x in three values of x i mean x1 x2 x3 they have got to be put into uh, the formula this formula you have to write down then only you equate with the value here okay and then just like we have in example 1 and example 2 just now and uh, for the x1 and the x5 so you have to write down okay so i hope that you can understand whenever we are doing this uh, new to repsa method okay to find uh, approximate value for any function